Are you ready to nerd out about candles with me? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Elle, and I do videos about home fragrance. I'm obsessed with Bath & Body Works, as we will be talking about today, but also cruelty-free beauty, lifestyle, and money-saving shopping hacks. So if you are interested in all of that, take a look around my channel after this video, see if there's something else you might like. But today is the most exciting day. I think this is my favorite video of the year. It has become because today is candle day at Bath & Body Works. It's actually candle day one of two. They started making it a two day event, I believe last year. So if you are new to candle day, Bath & Body Works is pretty famous for their three wick candles and this is their lowest price of the year. They go on sale this year. They are 1025 each. They retail, most of them now are 20 $25.50 each so it's a pretty good deal and then when you go in stores you can use coupons on top of that so a lot of people who love their candles love to stock up on this day because it's the best deal or to get some as gifts as well I usually do a little bit of both so I go a little nuts on candle day usually I'll drive around to a few different stores but today I just went to one I also placed two orders online because there was a limit of 18 <laughs> So this year the deal is that you could start ordering online at 6 a.m. on Friday, December 3rd. Today is the only day for the candle sale online and it is two days in stores Friday and Saturday. A lot of stores open extra early on these days. The store I went to opened at 8 a.m. I was there uh, at like 8.25. I wanted to be there when they opened and I was kind of beating myself up for not getting there, but there was no line. I couldn't believe it. There's usually a huge line to get in. I don't think I usually go this early in the day though. I feel like last year I went kind of like mid-morning was when I got over there and there was a big line at the same store. So I really like that. It's usually so crowded on this day. People go nuts and it really wasn't, it was getting more crowded as I left. I was there about half an hour to 40 minutes it was nice it wasn't crowded I could actually go around and smell things I thought I knew what I wanted but since it was so not crowded I decided to smell around and make sure there wasn't anything else I wanted but of course there was <laughs> I did also place orders online so those will be coming in later this week or next week so make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on by hitting that bell button on my channel so you're notified when that goes up there were a bunch that were online only so I wanted to make sure I got some of those and I wanted to make sure I got certain scents because again it's usually really crowded certain scents sell out so I did that. There were some that were online I didn't even see in stores and then some in stores that weren't online. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Without further ado, let me show you what I got because this will be a long video. Grab a snack. We're about to nerd out. Are you ready? I love love candles. I love love their candles the most. This year they did have the candle totes again, which look like a regular tote bag, but they're actually kind of you know wider to fit the candle crates in there so these are great really heavy duty with the nice straps you can throw over your shoulder last year i think they had these but they were sold out by the time i got there so i'm glad i got one this year i have one from a few years back so next year i'll have to remember <laughs> to bring those because the rest of them had to go in this cute holiday large bag which fits two crates but it's really really heavy and normally they should double bag these um it was so heavy and the handle was kind of really like ripping into my hand i don't know how i made it to my car carrying all of these i feel like i literally hurt myself so be careful if you're out there shopping today like literally probably strained something i'm committed so next year i'll have to remember to bring my candle totes because they just make your life so much easier it feels so much less heavy to carry the candles all by yourself so the candles i ordered online were almost more of my first string like first pick i was ordering at 6 a.m this morning they had a waiting line for the website i went on a little before six and then right at six it put me in a line and i had to wait for like 15 minutes and really it ended up being like nine minutes the time cut down i wonder if people left because it was confusing um and the site wasn't really slow wasn't really crashing like it normally is on candle day so maybe this line helped with that i know normally they sell out online pretty fast and you have to head to a store anyway so i wanted to get this video up as soon as possible so in case you're ordering online and you want to hear what they smell like and the scent notes and if you watch my channel and know we kind of like similar scents maybe my opinion and 
first impressions review can help you out a little bit and also if you're going to shop in store today or tomorrow I bet tomorrow the stores will be busier because more people have a Saturday off than a Friday kind of sucks that it starts on a Friday and so many people work because things sell out so fast so here's the first crate I picked up some gorgeous labels um, they had this new Thanksgiving collection with different sayings like give thanks, give blah, 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 blah. Seems Thanksgiving-y to me, but I think it just came out this week or for candle day. Um, but this one says give comfort. It is peach on earth, which they had last year. And I don't think I ever got it because it was in a really gorgeous glass container, which are a little more expensive. The notes on this are fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, and frosted vanilla with natural essential oils. I got a few from this collection I ordered online. So you'll see in my other haul. I also was shopping with a mask on. So really this is a first impression for a lot of these scents because I haven't actually like you know smelled them with my raw face yet <laughs> that sounded gross can you tell I barely slept last night and had a lot of coffee today I was so excited for today this is like a nice like peach cobbler sort of scent which is a little different for them I don't have any candles from Bath and Body Works like that I have the one from Yankee but it's just not strong. I do want to mention that for my online order I used a gift card I earned through Fetch Rewards so if you don't have Fetch the app I will have my referral code in the down bar as well as on the screen. It's so easy. I've redeemed over $50 in gift cards so far this year. All you have to do is scan your receipts which you get anyways when you're going out shopping and you get points for them it's super easy and you rack up rewards pretty quickly you can get e-gift cards to like amazon you can save up for a visa gift card starbucks duncan so many different stores and restaurants including bath and body works so definitely make sure you get it scan your receipts don't let them go to waste get some points and redeem them for gift cards you can get your first one pretty quickly when you join because they just throw bonus points at you when you first join so i highly recommend checking that out if you are shopping candle day get one of those basically one candle was free because i had a ten dollar gift card and i just redeemed a second one so in case i go later not that i need to I'll have another gift card. This one has the cutest little gold snowflake lid. This is Christmas cider. I was a little on the fence with this one, but I love the label. I love the red plaid. It's so cute. This one has mold cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, and simmering cider. I love a good apple scent. I don't love a lot of like the spicy scents that you see a lot this time of year. So I feel like that note is in a lot of their Christmassy candles. So I'll skip a lot of them. This also smells kind of like a really cinnamony apple pie, like a hot apple dessert more than like a fruity fall apple, if that makes sense. That's good though. This is a little different for them. I don't think they've had something like this before. And there's a cute little squirrel. Oh my god. This one I read about online, Holiday Cheers. Super cute little Christmas tree design. Love it, but it's also kind of neutral. I think my holiday decorations this year are going to be pretty neutral and then pink so i ordered some pink candles online just for decor i read the notes on this online i couldn't decide if i'd like it or not so i had to smell it in store i think this was the last one they had it was kind of hiding the notes are warm vanilla spiced rum and a dash of nutmeg i think a lot of people said it smelled like eggnog and it does yeah did they have the eggnog scent this year they usually have one there was one online but none in store and they usually sell out. I like it. It seems pretty light. We'll see. Oh, here's another one from that same collection. This one is Give Peace. Pretty basic label. Doesn't wrap around. Just a plain silver white barn lid. This is mahogany vanilla. And at first I thought, oh, mahogany. They usually mix it with things that are really strong that I don't like. But I love vanilla. And I do like like the black teak wood sort of scent. So I thought this would be a good combo. Wax is kind of funky. Look at that. So I figured this would be kind of a softer version of mahogany. I don't think they've really had something like this before, or at least that I've tried. So like a softer mahogany. The notes are warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. Really like that one. That's exciting. Something clean, but also sweet, like a cool combo. This label is so cute. I love this collection. This is Sugared Snickerdoodle. They had this in a bunch of labels, but how cute is this? And then like a frosted matte white. Again, it'll go with my kind of neutral decor. It's so cute. And then kind of the brushed bronze 
sort of metallic satiny lid the notes on this are warm spices creamy vanilla and sugared musk i kind of fell in love with this one last candle day i picked it up for like the first time and burned through one if not two of these last winter so needed another smells so good like perfect kind of like somewhere between a sugar cookie and a ginger snap like a little bit of cinnamon really yummy i'm blanking on the name of that cookie someone help me out again lack of sleep hello but super good gourmand scent this collection is so beautiful with the decorative glass lid these retail a little higher at $27.50 and they're just beautiful. So um, these were on my list to definitely try to find in stores because there weren't any online. I was hoping there'd be a few more scents in this kind of packaging available in stores. Maybe the first people that went to the store before me picked them up and cleaned them out. But this is cinnamon and clove buds. This is not a scent I like. It's a little too strong for me, but it's so beautiful. I couldn't not get it. This is going to be a great gift. They had another scent that was in the light green packaging in this collection, but I just did not like it. I didn't even want to give it for a gift, even though it was beautiful. The notes on this are cinnamon leaf, clove bud, and ground nutmeg. It's pretty classic. It's just not my thing. Almost just dropped this. Really strong, like wake you up cinnamon, but a friend of mine will love this. It was just so pretty. I'm just sad I couldn't find more because it's a good value, but I found something in a similar collection. Hang on. I got cinnamon sugared pecans and this cute little label. I like this collection a lot. Look how thin the lids are though. I was picking them up in store the other day and I guess my hand is so used to where it normally hits on the candle that these felt really weird. Like definitely don't pick these up by the lid. I did hear they're having issues with the supply chain with getting these. So maybe they're just using less materials, maybe more eco-friendly. I don't really mind, but it just, funky this is a really cute light peachy color the notes are cinnamon sugar warm roasted pecans and brown sugar smells like a sweet yummy pecan pie yummy gourmand scent i don't really have anything like this so had to try it this collection i believe just came out today it had black tie a lot of returning scents pink apple punch this is mary mimosa it's a cute little wrap label i love this scent and it always seems to sell out and i think it launched on candle day last year and i love it for a year round so i bought one online and i think this is my second because i think i have some more in backup somewhere but i just love it it's such a good fruity scent the notes are sparkling champagne red apple slices and iced sugar crystals i fell in love with this one a few years ago so good a lot of the wicks on like all candles from different collections were really weird so i'm glad i did go in person to kind of pick them out because some are just not spaced right they're too close to the walls some had like a huge indent in the center it was so weird I love this one. It's so fresh and beautiful. It's even good for summer. Although this has always been like a red pink type of packaging. I don't know why it's green. It's like apple. Ooh. I really hate that it's this color wax. I, it just makes me assume it's like a balsam scent. But other than that, I love this candle. You know what packaging I do love though? Look at this lid this pretty fall leaf white barn lid this is one i don't think i ever smelled in person they had a bunch of fall scents out and i kind of took it easy on fall scents because i was just waiting for candle day and i had so many so today i went nuts on both seasons you can check out my halloween slash fall candle haul from bath and body works if you want to see a few of those they did have halloween candles in this store and a lot of vampire blood which i love but i figured if i don't buy it now maybe there'll be some left and they'll go 75 percent off at the semi-annual sale maybe but anyways i see people rave about this online this is sweet kettle corn with this beautiful metallic leaf pattern this will be so pretty to display next fall the notes are freshly popped kettle corn creamy caramel sprinkled with sugar and sea salt with this cute like pastel yellow wax it's just so different it reminds me of i can't even think what's that really strong summer one that smells like kettle corn and apples boardwalk something i cannot think today oh my god reminds me of that one that summer scent this is really nice 
Definitely a little buttery. It's a little weird, but I feel like it would be good and definitely really strong. When I say I hear people talk about it online, I have a candle and Bath and Body Works dedicated Instagram at Way Wicked Wax. So definitely follow me there for reviews on all of these and to hear about my videos. And I follow a lot of other accounts that are always reviewing candles as well. So there's such a cute little community on there. Connect with me over there. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway soon because I'm almost at a thousand followers, but I just, you know, see a lot Lot of people over there raving about that one and other candles so that's what i mean today someone asked me what my username meant and i said like the wicked was because i'm from new england so probably already said that word 20 times in this video wicked cute i love the color of this one it's this bright bubblegum pink has that new thin lid this is bubbly rose this was in my cart online and I took it out because I had to decide in person. The notes are pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and splash of cranberry juice. I tend to stay away from the cranberry note. I used to buy it, but it just, I always hate it. I don't know what it is. It makes me, I don't know. It like makes my mouth feel dry. It makes me like a little nauseous. So hopefully the cranberry isn't strong in here because it smells a lot like Mary Mimosa and I really like it. This would be wicked cute for um, like a New Year's smells like a new year scent so maybe this is their new year collection even though it has a christmas ornament on it that smells like a bubbly fruity champagne drink really cute i'll have to put this in my little pink display once i set it up we are about halfway through um i did pick up a bunch of the gift wrap i'm surprised they had any left normally it runs out so early in the year but my mom had ordered a lot of stuff online for gifts and we didn't know you could check that it is a gift and they will provide it online but someone told us in store the other day so i grabbed her some of the give love cute little clean tags and then some of the thin cello bags and then the thicker ones you could put candles in here and then i'd never seen these before but this store had the gift boxes for candles so just grab two of those the little cute white barn turquoise packaging love it i didn't even mention that i had a ten dollars off forty dollar coupon you could not use that online because in order to get the 1025 deal you had to use a promo code which stinks because you can't pile on other coupons so i was able to use that in store and then i had a free item coupon but they would not let me use it on a pocket back holder so i'm just hanging on to that until i go back some other time although i saw on instagram someone else was able to use it so who knows varies by store but have you seen this cute little hedgehog on a vespa my mom had this scooter as a kid and we saw this in store the other day and they only had one so we wanted a second one and this store had it it lights up oh that's so cute so this is a gift she's probably watching this sorry i ruined the surprise but it's so cute okay back to candles back to the fall collection this one has that cool textured matte package this is autumn adventure and the little hammered copper lid really cute green color i remember liking this in the fall but i never pulled the trigger the notes are bright citrus warm cedar wood and fresh mint very fresh reminds me vaguely of fresh fall morning which was my all-time favorite last fall you do get a little mint but it's very fresh clean very woodsy so i'll probably save this for next fall or it could be a good early winter scent very clean outdoorsy these are all mixed in we're going fall winter fall winter christmas sorry i got the hope winter peach marshmallow which matches the current body care collection they have out i believe i ordered some body care online i have so many orders to share with you guys i need to film my black friday and cyber monday haul as well so keep your eyes peeled the notes on this are velvet peach vanilla meringue and creamy jasmine Ooh. It's not really Christmassy at all. It's a very marshmallowy peach. Oh, I love that. It's like candied. I love their peach scents. I have so many and yet they keep making new versions, which if you hated peach, I could see you rolling your eyes at this, but that's really good. I picked up a Merry Cookie. I love this label. It's so cute. It came out in a new plaid one for Candle Day, but the colors weren't pretty, so I didn't get it. I got this one, the classic, you know, sugar cookie colored wax cute little snowflake lid this is one i ordered online and then got more in store because it always sells out and i always want to burn through a million of it every christmas it's so good the notes are fresh baked cookies sparkling sugar crystals and rich vanilla just a perfect cookie dough scent so 
dang good so i had to get another one they had a lot of it though and since it's in different packagings they probably won't sell out quickly this one was the last one in the store i'm glad i got two online a peppermint sugar cookie cute little label same collection super cute the wicks on this one are goofed up they're a little off center which kind of bothers me but since it was the last one i did pick it up so good this came out for the first time last year they have a lot of sweet pepperminty smells and i love them all even though they're only slightly different this sold out on candle day so fast last year i believe it was when i couldn't find anywhere so i had to buy it on mercari super overpriced and i loved it so definitely stocked up this year then it's our crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies it's more cookie sweet softer than twisted peppermint which i also like but that one can be a little abrasive but crushed candy cane is usually even more abrasive there's a scale you know so this one is my current favorite although peppermint marshmallow didn't come out i wonder if this is replacing it because they are pretty similar but different you know if you like them you can tell the difference but if it's not your thing you'd probably think they're the same if you can't tell i love the gourmand sweet cookie scents love it love it people always think i'm baking when they come over and i'm like no it's a candle sorry this is in that same collection as the peach marshmallow super cute like light champagne pink with stars this is cute i love the back all right, this might be a display one too. Plain lid. This is iced raspberry Bellini piece. This one, again, I wanted to smell in person. Almost bought it online. The notes are chilled Prosecco, sparkling raspberry, and citrus twist. It smells similar to cranberry pear Bellini, I believe, which I almost picked up, but then I remembered I hated it last year when I burnt it because cranberry, it makes me weirdly nauseous. Does that happen to anyone else? I don't know. But this one is that, but like no cranberry, but like stronger fruity scents. So I hope this is what I wish that one was. If you know what I mean, it smells great. And it smells like it'd be a strong berry too. Back to fall. This one's actually not for me. Champagne, apple, and honey has this really cool matte faded red wrap and then like textured like kind of sandpaper matte lid love that the notes are pink lady apple sparkling champagne and jasmine honey i do like this but i have one from last year i never used it's so strong very similar to pink apple punch my mom was looking for body care in this for a gift the other day and we couldn't really find what we wanted so we grabbed a candle instead so that'll go away <laughs> i forgot i got this one old-fashioned cider donut from an almost similar looking fall collection, but a little different. Half wrap label, really cute with all the pumpkins and a matte lid, but not as textury. The notes are old fashioned cake donut, baked apple, sprinkled with brown sugar cinnamon. Is there supposed to be an and there? This smells like Cider Lane, which has like more of a caramel note in it, but I really like it. It's very yummy and fall. I feel like I didn't burn many fall candles this year. I just kind of did Halloween and skipped fall. Oh, it's really good. I may have to burn this soon. The hard part is gonna be deciding what to burn first. And this is the second to last scent I picked up. Snowy Peach Berry. Cute little pink snowflakes and a pretty wrap all the way around. This one I almost bought online, but I didn't know if it'd be like an artificial berry, but when I smelled it in store, at least through my mask, we gotta find out. It smells just like this dessert my grandma used to make that my mom and I make now. So I just I had to have it just to keep it and smell it. The notes are sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and sugared musk. Again, why do they put cranberry in everything fruity? I don't like the cranberry, but the dessert I'm talking about does have cranberry in it, so it makes sense. Smells just like grandma's orange cranberry jello. So good, but that has a little pineapple in it and this one doesn't. Maybe like the peaches, I'm picking up on that. The candle that also smells like that is Yankee Candles Cranberry Mandarin, I think. So we love that one. I got two of this. I might keep one just like to smell cold and then one to burn, but it's so nostalgic for me. I love it. 
if you have this candle just imagine tasting it that's how good that dessert is and then i mentioned i found another similar decorative collection these are so beautiful i love this purpley color they just have the plain white barn lid but these retailed at 26.50 so a little bit more these are wine cellar which i love this scent it's so neutral good for almost year round not really spring but a nice like toned down fruity berry with little oakiness the employees were raving about this one um when i was there and that's how i found it because it was kind of hidden but they were standing near it so then i found it the notes are mold apples fresh fig and cedar wood i saw people get this earlier in the season at like a buy two get two free sale and i should have gotten it then i would have if i had seen it so i thought i missed out but i found some more these all had the shortest, stubbiest wicks though. So I'm a little nervous about burning it, but I think these are actually one ounce less than the other candles. They're all usually 14.5 ounces and these are 13.5. So I think they're not as wide around because the glass is so thick. So maybe they'll pull out okay, but really good neutral very like grown-up scent very nice love those so those are the last two i got if you are still here at the end thank you so much for watching this all the way through i hope you enjoyed i hope you have a great candle day and find all the scents you want and have an easy time in store if you go or an easy time online if that's how you prefer to shop i almost consider just buying online because i got a lot of the ones i wanted because i was there right at the beginning even though i was in line so i don't think i've ever been so early and yet there really weren't any like new releases I thought would sell out like a few years ago when they had like unicorn sprinkles and French baguette that sold out right away I don't think they did that this year. So was there really a benefit to going that early? I don't know and it was probably the most pain-free Candle day in store shopping experience. I've had since I started going I will link my other candle day hauls from prior years down below if you want to see just the cool different Collections they've come out with I have so much fun I'll be on Instagram talking about my finds and what I'm burning and all that so hang out with me there My other socials will be linked down below Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to join our glam bam fam and turn on notifications So you don't miss a new video give this video a thumbs up It really helps me out it makes me feel good and leave me a comment down below I want to hear what you got and how your candle experience was so thank you so so much for watching happy happy candle day It's basically a holiday in the candle community and in my book. So have a great one and I'll see you guys in my next one. Three, two, one, bam.